Hey everybody, I'm out in the shop today and uh, I'm coming up with one another grill project. Um, God, this is going on forever. I started this, it was going to be a uh, four part uh, series, if you will, on the basic grill set. And obviously it's grown into a lot more. So uh, I don't know when I'm going to finish. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do, but uh, for now, we'll keep going. So today, um, I've got this one inch bar stock that we're going to drill holes all through it, decorate it up a little bit, take it over to the lathe. We're going to put a taper on this end, and um, I'm going to use this set screw to hold this piece in. I don't know how long it goes here. I'm not really concerned with that. I've got enough handle there to uh, compensate for whatever the length is here. But in classic fashion, just like the pizza cutter, the knife, the spatula, the tongs, everything else that we've done out in the shop, this is pretty much going to mirror that. And it's funny about this project, um, I didn't even think about this at all. The missus pointed that out uh, when we were grilling the other night. She's like, well, why didn't you build a handle for the, the brush there? It doesn't match the rest of the, the pieces. And I thought, well, yeah, yeah, I guess I should. So here I am. So let's get started. Okay, so I've measured the um, the handle on the brush, and um, I've chose the appropriate drill bit. Because this piece is so long, I'm not going to be able to bore all the way down here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole, and um, I'll go pretty deep with it, so it gives me plenty of room for my set screw to lock down the, the handle on. And then... Um, I'll take it from here and we'll go ahead and go to the mill, drill the holes, and then we'll come back to the lathe to finish it up. All right, now that we've got the taper done and we've got the hole drilled for the metal part of the handle to go into. We'll take it to the uh, to the milling machine. And what I want to do, I want to go ahead and drill and tap for my set screw, and then I'll put all the holes in it, and we'll bring it back over here to the lathe and, uh, and finish drilling and boring out the entirety of it. Okay, I went ahead and uh, center drilled where I want to drill and tap for my set screw. Um, sorry about that. I almost forgot the camera, but anyway, we're back together now, camera and me. So uh, we'll go ahead and run number seven drill bit through this and then we'll run the tap through it and that's got a set up for the set screw that'll hold the piece together. Okay, now that we've got all the holes drilled, we'll take it out of the vise, we'll go back to the lathe, and we'll finish the whole process up in the lathe. Okay, I just realized that I, I forgot to drill the lanyard um, hole, so I'm going to go back to the mill right quick and drill that hole right quick, and then uh, we'll take the old um, brush apart and insert it in here and then tighten it down, that'll wrap it up.
Okay, all the machine work's done now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. See how it looks. Okay, there we have it. Now we have a matching handle for the grill brush uh, that matches all the other components that we've built. Um, this one was pretty easy build, um, except for drilling the hole because I didn't have a drill bit as long as I would like. But I believe this will work just fine. We'll go try it out and, and see how well it works. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and um, if you guys come up with something you want me to build, just put it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, for now, that's going to do it for me out in the shop. I'm going inside. I'm going to eat some pizza and watch some TV and just chill out for the rest of the day. Have a good one, YouTube. Bye-bye.